Hey there, welcome to the Build's Microsoft Minute, a quick way to learn tips and tricks about Microsoft Office. Today's quick tip is all about contacts and task information in Outlook Web Access. In this video, we will cover viewing, creating, and organizing both contacts and tasks. Everything in this video takes place on OA, which is Outlook's Web Access. And remember, this is a video, so if you want to play along, press pause at any time. I'm sure you're curious, so let's take a closer look. Once you've logged into Outlook Web Access, click the People icon to get started. There are several different views available for contacts. In the Contents pane next to My Contacts, click the drop-down to see the different views. To create a contact, click New, or click the New drop-down to create a contact group. In this case, we'll create a contact. When the contact form appears, fill out the required information. When you're finished, click Save. If you need to edit, delete, or add to favorites, click the various options on the top menu. To email your contacts, click the associated email address and an email will open. Finally, if you need to view the entire directory, click Directory from the folder pane. Let's switch gears and look at tasks. To access tasks, Click the Application Launcher in the upper left corner and choose Tasks. There are several different views available for tasks. In the Contents pane, next to Flagged Items and Tasks, click the drop-down to see the different views available. Creating a task is pretty straightforward. From the top menu, click New and complete the required and desired elements. There are several details you can add to tasks. Click Show More Details to see all of the options. If you want to add attachments to your task, click the Attach button in the top menu. You also have the ability to add charms to your task. While the charms do not have specific meanings, you can assign your own meaning to the images. To complete your task, click Save. Once you've created tasks, they appear in the Contents pane. If you hover over any task, several menu options appear. From this menu, you can delete, mark complete, or flag. As always, thanks for watching. For more detailed information about Outlook, be sure to sign up for any of our classes offered through the Build. If you like what you're watching, make sure to click subscribe. If you're interested in more Microsoft Minutes, click right here. We'll see you next time.